نتصور فيديو قولي تالف Back in time, we had a dream, and now, after 13 years, we're still clinging to that dream. The journey was not easy. We lost our loved ones, either to detention, forced disappearance, or killed under torture in the regime cells. We're here to tell everybody, to remind everyone that we do exist, we still hold our memories tight, and we will never forget, we do have a right, and we still have a dream. Thank you. Revolution, we are welcoming everybody joining us today. Um, we, we have... We have a big cause. We have here today, like several causes also, group here talking about hate. We face a lot of hate. We have our beloved ones in Syria, in Palestine, in the Middle East, everywhere. So um, we stand in solidarity together to say, free, free Syria! So uh, my name is Omar, um, I'm a Syrian refugee who arrived like around a year ago to the UK. I'm here today remembering the, the Syrian uprising when they started 
like uh, at, at middle of March 2011. That was a moment that almost everybody in Syria was waiting for. We struggled for like Al Bas party and, and power for the last like now it's 60 years almost. My country, I I believe that my country is a rich country with oil, with tourism, with agriculture, with uh, like instructions, everything. But unfortunately, everything was stolen by Al Bas party and the Al Assad family. This is why the start of the Syrian uprising started. We asked for freedom, we asked for liberation, we asked to liberate Syria and Palestine and all the uh, causes that we care about because it's like it's linked to us, Syria and Palestine. Um, we are here today to gather in the beginning, to stay in solidarity with each other. The last 13 years, we lost a lot uh, of our beloved ones, our future, our hopes, uh, our dreams. All of them were like, like we were not planning to, to do this. Um, we are not expecting to take 13 years. We've seen what happened in Tunisia or Egypt in 2011 and 2012, and we thought that it would be the same. But unfortunately, you can tell that it was quite different in Syria. My message to the people in Syria, we stay in solidarity with you. We support you. We pray for you. We know that you are struggling too much. We've seen your protest after the Friday yesterday. And it was like, it was the, the reason why we are gather, gathering here today. It's the reason why we are staying, lounging our voices to show solidarity with the people back in Syria. Internationally, it's not only London, it's several cities around the world, in Europe and America and in UK, there will be tomorrow also protests, Manchester and Nottingham. So yeah, the Syrian people will never forget the Syrians who are inside Syria. Okay, so we have seen like in the, couple of years it was a little bit different than the start of the revolution when when we started in syria we thought that we will be able to survive collectively but unfortunately we couldn't make it uh, we need to admit that we we see that we have like four or five different syrias we can see that there is like around 13 different armed groups fighting in syria controlling different places but the main idea that the regime was planning to spread that protesting is a crime we can see in 13 years that the regime couldn't convince the Syrian people that protesting is a crime because till today we see protests in different places in Syria, even regime controlled areas. We've seen a lot of individuals, uh, a lot of areas like Al Sueda, we've seen protests in Aleppo and out of regime controlled areas in Idlib there is every now and then protest, not only against Assad but also against the de facto and uh, in east of Syria against the SDF and west of uh, east Syria against the Jolani and their groups because nobody is, is happy about the situation. We can see that every year the situation is getting worse and worse and there is no international will to solve the issue in Syria and basically I don't see any other solution uh, for Syria with uh, Al-Assad to stay there in power. We see that Al-Assad groups are shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. He lost um, a lot of supporters, they lost also the support internationally. There, is a, there was a lot of, like, um, let's say, opportunities to neutralize relationships with Assad. It all failed. Assad found new ways to create sources of income like Captagon and drugs and they are spreading all around the world. Everybody uh, see that Al-Assad is not a solution. It's the main issue of the problem. And the first step to solve the problem is to take Assad down.